Okay, today guys, we're in here. Welcome back to the workshop. We are doing some rules discussion and some nut job starters off on uh, fire modes for different weapons and we're like a quarter of the way through here. So I'm trying to plug through them all. We're loving it. We're loving it. <laughs> we're loving it. We're, cool. we're as always doing our rules discussion with Adam so that we get a, a different perspective. Um, we're going to do energy weapons today. Uh, because I really want to get to PPCs, but PPCs also apply the energy weapon stuff, so I thought, well, we better do energy weapons first. Uh, so the energy weapon optional rules, uh, well, optional rule, is on 102 of Tech Ops. And basically the only option that they give you for standard direct fire or pulse weapons, energy weapons, is the ability to dial back your damage. So you can reduce the amount of damage that you're doing with those weapons, okay? Now, it doesn't sound like anything that you really wanna do, but it also reduces heat. Uh, so as you dial the damage back, you are also damaging the heat value back. Um, so you can use it to tweak your heat value Specifically for things like uh, TSM. Yeah, definitely. Um, That's what I was thinking. So good. Yeah, so it's 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 a very specific thing. So you know for a fact what sort of um, damage you're going to be doing, but you also know for a fact what sort of heat level you're going to be generating afterwards. So you can get a bit more precise with it. So rather than going over, I think it's nine is the optimum range for TSM, if I remember correctly. So rather than going to 10, 11, or 12, or whatever, you can dial your weapon back if you've got TSM, but you haven't got any, like, low-level heat stuff. Um, yeah, you can you can keep it at the level that you want. Yeah. You can still do some damage and things like that. Yeah. But, it's worth pointing out that it doesn't affect anything except damage value and heat value. So you're still doing your damage at the same ranges, and you're still getting the same two hit modifiers, so your pulse still gives you a minus two. Yeah. All of that sort of stuff still applies. You just have the damage value and the heat value changing. So before a controlling player makes a two-hit roll for an energy weapon attack, he can announce that he is dialing back the damage value. For each one point less of damage value, the weapon generates one less heat point than normal to a minimum of one heat. Regardless of whether a weapon's damage value is reduced to zero, the weapon will always generate at least one heat. So a medium laser can dial back its damage value of five down to three to only generate one heat, mm. right? So rather than generating the, the three that you're normally doing, you can dial it back and only generate that one specific point of heat, right? Again, it's, it's useful if you're trying to be very, very like micromanaging with your, with your heat levels. Uh, if you've got heat sink difficulty or if you're in a specific situation where you really don't want to generate any extra heat because you think there's some coming in or anything like that, right? Where you, where you want to micromanage your heat, you can do it by doing this. Um, so even if the medium laser's damage value is reduced to two or, e or one or even zero, it still generates a heat point. Um, uh, interesting example there is the Innisphere ER Large Laser which I am pretty sure does, what is that? 12 heat and eight damage. 12 heat and eight damage, right. In so good range. Yeah, so even if you dial the, the, that laser back to zero damage, you've still got eight, uh, four points of heat left, right? Because it's, it's doing less damage than it's generating in heat. Mm. So even if you dial it back to zero, you're still generating heat with it. So, yeah. I mean, I don't honestly see any point in that, but it is a, a thing to keep in mind. Um, I mean, if for some reason you want to generate four points of heat without actually doing any damage to anybody, you go for it. <laughs> but I mean, because it still keeps the range, you can, yeah, you can still shoot. Yeah, you know, it still still do a reasonable amount of damage, but you're not you don't yeah. have to worry too much about. But that's stuff. that's what I mean. You know, the, the, there is no point in dialing something back to zero. No, as no, far definitely as I'm concerned. not. But I was you thinking can, of you the know. um, 
was at the clan direwolf prime Ooh. so that comes with well a buttload of lasers but primarily there's four clan er large lasers on that wow now it's not too bad with its heat but the, it's interesting to know that it can actually scale it back a little bit and still be still be doing a bit of damage you know? yeah you can still do a reasonable amount of damage and just like like I say, just dial that heat back just a smidge. Yeah. To keep yourself like under like if you don't want to actually go to the next shutdown level. Right? If you're if you're already on the heat scale and you know what your heat's gonna be and you don't want to get up to the to the next shutdown level, then you can just dial your weapons back. You can still do some damage, yeah. good solid range, and just keep your heat under control. Yeah, because if I'm shooting at a unit that hasn't got a lot of armor on it. I don't care if I'm doing like one or two points of damage. I'm getting those critical hit rolls and that they're gold. That's yeah. what you want. And and you're not taking the heat problems for it. No, that's right. Um, points of order, the ammo. So any energy weapon that is ammo dependent, like uh, flamers for vehicles, plasma weapons and chemical lasers cannot make use of this rule. So you can't dial the damage back no. if it's ammunition based. Okay, yeah. It's only energy based. Um, the bombast laser is a, a, another specific one. So you can only use the rule for the bombast laser when dealing with a damage value of seven or less. I think it only goes down to seven. So the, the specifics for the bombast laser, which I don't think we went into in our laser weapon, uh, weapons ready videos. No, this is the first time I've actually heard of this yeah. laser. So. so it's on page 320 of the TAC Ops book. It's experimental, it's incredibly experimental, but it basically has a selectable level of damage. So you can go from 7 to 12 points of damage, but you get an additional 2-hit modifier equal to half of the desired damage value minus 7 rounded up. So you take your, your damage, you take 7 off it, and then you divide it by 2, and you round it up, and that's your target modifier right so it's it's not a particularly accurate weapon but with a good solid gunnery you can make this work really? um it also generates heat equal to the points of damage selected that turn right so you're not allowed to fire it at a secondary target it has to be on the first target that you shoot at. So if you're going to have a secondary target, you can't shoot a bombast laser at it. Okay. Um, they are 3061 R&D, and the prototype design and production was 3064, and they're both the uh, Luran Alliance. So... Ah, yay! <laughs> that's, that's you, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, they're all in a sphere, and they're all very, very, very experimental. Um... Interesting though. So you can adjust you adjust its damage and its heat, but the more damage you are to pump out, you've got mm. penalties. Okay. Yeah, but I mean hmm. with seven if you think about it, with seven points of damage, you aren't getting any modifier because seven minus seven is zero. Yeah. Right? So you're not there's no modifier. And really, even with eight points of damage, you're not really getting a modifier, although you are rounding up, so it uh, yeah, it would be a plus okay. one. Yeah. So as long as you're doing seven points of damage every time, you're generating seven points of heat, but you're not generating an extra mod. Right? But you can crank your damage up to 12 on those turns where you think, well, I've got a good solid chance to hit. That plus three modifier isn't really going to make much difference. Yeah. Because when you crank it up to 12, you will get a plus three modifier. So 12 minus seven is five. Five divided by two is two and a half. And you round that up to three. So yeah, that's your modifier. Yeah. And you generate 12 points of heat. Um, but I mean, 12, yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's to one location. Though, to so one that's location, useful. yeah. That's more than a PPC does. Yeah. And well, for and the in sphere, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's quite nice for that's, an energy it's weapon. It's not too bad for an energy weapon. Um, they take up, I think they're a couple of tons here. Let me just have a quick look. Um, I was going to say, yeah, you, you definitely want the heat sinks, though. To, yeah, you, you <laughs> to would need uh, <laughs> some extremely um, cool heat sinks. So we've got heat standard 12. Duh, 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 duh. 
variable to hit modifier. Okay, so seven, seven tons and three spaces in a mech. Okay, so standard PPC sort of fit out. I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same as a PPC. At seven, seven tons and three spaces. Um, mm. So it costs 200 grand to buy. Oof. So well, that's is, me out then. Yeah, very expensive. <laughs> Although the Lyrans, they usually got a bit of coin. So. Yeah. But um, you can oh. use the Bombast laser with dialing it back, but you have to start at seven. So you, you, you can only dial a Bombast laser back if you use it at seven points of damage. So then you can dial it back and drop your heat down. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. Honestly, I don't see myself using this except for something like... Like, I've got that night sky that I really, really love that has all the lasers and things on it and uses the TSM. Yeah. So that is one that I think I might actually dial back. But generally speaking, if you're careful with your movement and your firing, you can keep your heat at a reasonable level. You can't micromanage it the same way you would with, with dialing damage and heat down. Yeah. But you can keep it reasonable. So, I mean... In a specific situation, I could see myself maybe doing this, but I don't think I would do it regular. Um, it is very cool, though. It is extremely useful for the triple strength mime, like you said. That's mm. that is so good because you could you could risk you could have you could have more bigger weapons and less yeah. smaller ones because you can manage your heat better with this more rule. specifically. So Not you more, could have yeah. more range. You know, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, and that's that's, that's the thing useful. is is you can use a, a bigger laser, a longer range laser, something like a PPC out to eighteen, but dial the damage back and still get that damage out at range, but do less heat. Yeah. And you you're building that heat up so that you can get the TSM on and <laughs> blast forward. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Bless you, buddy. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that was just a quick one on. Um, well, it wasn't really a quick one. That's like 12 minutes on dialing back energy weapons. And yeah, I mean, whether you use it or not and whether you use it for specific things is, is entirely up to you. It is an optional rule. You don't have to use it. You don't have to even pay it any attention. But we're going through some optional rules and this is one of them. No, I'm thinking if you're a, uh, a clan supernova pilot... <laughs> <laughs> Which has the, what was it, the six clan ER, large or ER something? ER mediums on each no, arm. Yeah, ER large it was. It's got oh, it is, huge yeah. huge range, but I think you can only get rid of heat for like four of them. So that that could be quite useful for that pilot. You dial all of them back a little bit yep. and just and get that heat under control. Yeah, oh, so here you go. Instead of 10, you can have seven damage each, but you're firing out to, what was it, 24 yeah. tanks or something? Something ridiculous like that. It's huge. Yeah. Are you taking slightly less damage, but you are keeping your heat under control. control yeah. And you can, I think most of the uh, clan weaponry is doing more damage than it's generating in heat. Or the same. Or, yeah, or it's, yeah, or right, it's very so, close. Yeah, dropping, dropping damage back is actually hopefully getting your heat down to that minimum of one. And if you could do that with something like the Snoop Supernova, then you can you could drop all of them down to one heat. They're doing a lot less damage, but throw them out to that range and just hitting things yeah, multiple well, times. Right. Well, I wouldn't mind like drop it to like seven, seven damage from ten or something, and yeah. go a little bit on the heat scale, maybe. Yeah. But, uh, well, I tell you what, that's that's <laughs> really nice. Even seven damage out, six of those out to that range. Oh, yes, I'll take that. They're not bad. So yeah, hmm. if if you think you can fit that into your games, then feel free to use it. Like I say, page one hundred two of Tac Ops. There's a load of optional rules in Tac Ops. Yeah. That has been one of them. But that laser one, that's good. Thank you for showing me that, man. That's really good. Mm. Uh, there's a, a few other lasers that we might go into that I don't think we covered in the... Um, uh, specifically covered in the uh, Weapons Ready videos. Yeah. There's a few of them. So we might go through some of them later on. Mm. All good. All right. Anyway, that's that one. And... We will see you in the next one.